Hey everybody, uh, today we're going to look at the basics of creating a new stencil application. Uh, so we're just going to go through the really basic stuff in this video, uh, but I also want to explain the general concepts and differences between say stencil and ionic and ionic angular and things like that. And so you may be aware that stencil is the tool that ionic is using to build the components for the ionic framework, the web components that ionic uses. And so if you're using ionic, you don't need to touch stencil at all. Stencil isn't a framework. It's a web component compiler. It's, it's just used for building web components. So if you don't want to build your own web components, you can just use ionic, use their components, use whatever framework uh, you want and never have to touch Stencil. But Stencil is also a powerful tool that you can use yourself, and that's what I want to talk about in this video. And there's a few different ways you can use Stencil as well. So what we're going to do is we're just gonna walk through the process and discuss some of the different options. And you can get started with Stencil just by running npm init Stencil in your terminal. Uh, so let's do that now and take a look. Okay, so I have a terminal open here. Now if I just uh, run that command npm init Stencil, that's going to give me some options here. And so as you can see, it says to pick a starter, we can use the Ionic PWA starter, uh, an app starter or a component starter. And so I guess the, maybe the default or the, the core of what Stencil is maybe, uh, like this option down here, the component option, is uh, what you would use if you want to build a Stencil web component. And I guess that's the main idea behind the framework is to create web components and that's what Ionic is built upon, a bunch of web components that we can import into whatever application we're building. So if you did want to build a web component or web components that you can reuse in other applications, you could use this option here. Uh, but even though Stencil is a web component compiler, it's a tool for building web components, uh, Stencil is set up, uh, or these starters are set up in a way that we can also use it kind of as a pseudo framework, I guess you could call it, uh, for creating applications as well. And so these starters also provide a little bit of extra tooling and structure that you can use to build an entire application. So you're still building individual web components uh, to build this application, but you kind of have, it's almost like using a framework in a sense, even though you're not. So let's say if you just want to build a generic app or website, then you could use this uh, app starter here and you'll get a stencil project that will allow you to build stencil components in a way that you can kind of tie them together and build a, uh, a more you know, broad website or app rather than just individual components. And then we have the uh, option that we're going to look at today and that is the Ionic PWA option. And uh, basically this is a similar uh, concept to using the app starter where we kind of have this pseudo framework where we're not using a framework, we're just using stencil but it's set up in a way where we have a bit of structure and we have build tools and whatnot. Uh, the difference is with the Ionic PWA is that it's also set up as uh, a PWA that includes uh, the Ionic web components. So the same web components that you would use, say if you're used to using Ionic Angular perhaps, uh, this will just have those same web, com uh, web components imported into your stencil project. So you can build your own stencil components, tie them together, but also use the Ionic uh, components as well which you could also do yourself. All you need to do is you know, set those components up in your application. So even if you did just create uh, a normal app, you could just import those Ionic components in yourself and you could set up the PWA stuff yourself, but uh, this just sets everything up for us. So let's choose that option and then we'll have a quick look through uh, what's generated. So we'll just have to give that a uh, project name. Um, I'll just call this uh, Ionic PWA test. Okay, so and that's it, it's all, it's all generated now. So uh, if I just switch into the Ionic PWA test I just created and we'll run npm start and that's going to build and launch our application for us. Okay, so you can see I've already got everything up here already and we have this default uh, application. It's just a home page with a button that goes to a profile page and a little uh, thing we can toggle there. So obviously at this point it looks very similar to a normal sort of Ionic Angular application that you would generate if you're familiar with using Ionic Angular. And so let's take a look at the code and, and see where that, where that differs. 
Okay, so I have the Ionic PWA test that we just uh, created open up in VS Code now. And what we're going to do is just take a quick look around the files and folders. So uh, I'm gonna kind of talk in the context of someone who is maybe familiar with Ionic Angular. Uh, you don't need to be familiar with Ionic Angular uh, in order to use uh, this, but I think a lot of the people watching this will be. Uh, but maybe, you know, maybe you're more used to React or Vue, or maybe, you know, you're completely new to this stuff. So I'll try not to go on too much about it. So the most of the code in our application will be, uh, I guess most of where we work in the application will be in the components. And again, similar to Angular, we basically have a bunch of components uh, defined for our application that we tie together. Uh, the difference being that with Stencil, these are web components we're creating, not Angular components. You can, you can see here by default, we have an app home, an app profile, and an app root. And if I expand those out, um, perhaps you'll be somewhat familiar with the sorts of files that we have here. So we have the uh, components or a definition, uh, the JavaScript behind that or the TypeScript uh, in this file here. And then we also have some associated styles here. And this is a little bit different to uh, Angular if you're used to that, because the uh, the file we're looking at here is a um, uses JSX. And so basically we have both uh, template and uh, logic defined in here. And we use this JSX style uh, where we have so like a render function uh, that returns our template and we can use logic within that template and so on. Uh, so if you're not familiar with JSX, it might take a little bit to get used to. Uh, but if you're coming from something like React, then this will probably seem very familiar. Uh, but we still have stuff like a component decorator to define uh, a component, just like we do in Angular. Uh, we have our metadata in here. Uh, so it is, it's similar, but different. So this is how we would define uh, our pages, templates, whatever we're using. And as you can see here, we can still make use of the, just the normal Ionic components. And this isn't going to be any different really to the way you would use it in Ionic Angular, but the difference being you're going to have to use, you're not going to use the Angular uh, things like navigation and whatnot, so they'll need to change. And if we take a look at our app root file here, uh, you can see that we have some navigation set up here. And to do that, we're using Ion Router and Ion Route, which are just uh, more Ionic web components. Uh, again, in an Angular application, we would use the Ion Router outlet and we'd have our routes defined uh, in the uh, Angular way uh, in a sort of routing module. But as I mentioned, we don't, with Stencil, we don't have a framework that we're working with here. Uh, really, Stencil is just a tool for creating web components, but it's we have these sort of Ionic components that are provided that allow us to still kind of build a, an application in a frameworky kind of way without actually needing a framework. And so we can set up our navigation in our application using these components here. And it is quite similar to the way Angular does it, where we specify a path or a URL in this case, and we tie uh, components to that particular path. So on the uh, sort of default uh, root path there, we're loading the app home component and on the uh, profile forward slash some name uh, path, we're loading the app profile component. And then the ion nav is going to be controlling uh, what is actually displayed. So that's the core of um, what you'll be working on to build an application if you're using this uh, starter uh, template here. You just build some components, you'll be adding them to the uh, routes here and navigating between them. Uh, let's have a quick look at some other stuff in here though. Of course, we have the assets folder, which is going to contain whatever static assets we have. Uh, we have a global uh, folder here. It's going to have our global CSS there, which again is similar to the sort of Ionic Angular setup. Uh, we have an app.ts file here, which imports the Ionic core uh, components. And you can see here it's commented out some extra configuration that you could use. Uh, we have a default helpers file set up. You can put whatever sort of helper functions you want in there. Uh, this is just a TypeScript, uh, TypeScript definition file for our components and uh, index.html. And uh, if you look down here, all we have is our app root component, which gets loaded up by default. And then that sort of kicks off everything else. Uh, we also have a manifest.json file here for our PWA stuff. Uh, just all the typical stuff here, like the name, the short name, the icons we're using and so on. Uh, so you can set those up as you like. And we have our built uh, www folder, which is actually 
the, the code that's getting deployed after it's been uh, built by Stencil. Okay, so that's the basics of a, a new Stencil application. I mainly wanted to get the point across of the difference between creating components with Stencil or creating an app with Stencil and then how that's sort of different to just using Angular. And the key point there, I think, is that Stencil isn't a framework. So if you're building a, uh, an application with Stencil, uh, you're not including a framework. You're just using the Ionic components or your own components, and you have some tooling there that Stencil provides to uh, build everything and deploy it. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I do intend to do more Stencil videos uh, in the future, uh, most likely more on uh, specifically Ionic and Stencil. Uh, so if you do like uh, Stencil, if you do want to see more of this, please do feel uh, free to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you again in the next video.